Do you have frustration with elimination? During the duration of this narration, the mission of elimination by addition will make you feel like a mathematician. Now you have to try to eliminate a variable. So we'll times this equation by times negative two, which gives you negative two x minus 10 y equals negative two. And then this equation stays exactly the same. Two x plus three y equals negative Eliminate a variable by addition. You don't have to be a magician. They will cancel each other out. Don't have a doubt. All lined up? Yup. What's up? Equals zero x, so you don't have to write it down. So now you have to add up everything, like Martin Luther King, and each column, get the sum. So negative 10y plus 3y equals negative seven. Negative two plus nine equals seven. Divide this side by negative seven and this side by negative seven. You get y equals negative one. Now choose and use either one of your original equations. So now substitute y equals whatever or x equals whatever. How clever into that equation forever. and stand by. If both numbers are the same, your solution can go on the wall of fame. The line represents the equal side. So write the left side of the equation on this side and the right side on this side. X plus five Y equals one. On this one, it's 2x plus 3y equals 9. Replace the x with the x variable. 6 plus 5 bracket negative 1 equals 1. 6 minus 5 equals 1. 1 equals 1. Check. 2 times 6 plus 3 times negative 1 equals 12 plus sorry, 12 minus 3 equals 9 on both sides check now we have to do the same thing but times both equations by something so we have to times this equation by negative 2 and times this equation by 3 
This way we will eliminate the x variables. So this equals negative 6x minus 4y equals negative 20. And this one is 6x plus 15y equals 9. Add these up. This equals 0, so you don't write it down. Negative 4y plus 15y equals 11y. Equal, and then negative 20 plus 9 equals negative 11. Divide the side by 11. This side 2. You get y equals negative 1. y variable. Now you will substitute y equals negative 1 to either your first equation or your second equation. It doesn't matter which one. Substitute y equals negative 1, negative 1. 3x plus 2y equals 10. 3x plus 2, negative 1 equals 10. 3x minus 2 because 2 times negative 1 equals 10. 3x equals 10 plus 2. 3x equals 12 divided by 3. You got x equals 4. Therefore, the POI is 4 negative 1, because this is the x and y, always. And now for the check. So you have a left side and a right side, left side, right side. And you put both equations. 3x plus 2y equals 10. And on this side it's going to be 2x plus 5y equals 3. 3 times 4 plus 2 brackets negative 1 equals 12 plus 12 minus 2 equals 10. Done. And this side you have 2 times 4 plus 5 bracket negative 1 equals 8 minus 5 equals 3. Both sides are the same, so you know you did it correctly. with elimination during the duration of this narration the mission of elimination by addition will make you feel like a mathematician eliminating a variable by addition you don't have to be a magician they will cancel each other out don't have any doubt all lined up yep what's up add up everything like martin luther king and it's called get the sub now use and choose Either one of your equations, son. Now substitute y equals whatever and x equals whatever. How clever into each equation forever. The solution is way easier than substitution. Find the POI is as easy as pie. Wait, let's get this straight. Do a check, even if it's a pain in the neck. You want to be correct, be little Miss Perfect? Take pride, do a check on each side. Provide a left side and a right side and get ready to stride. Substitute x and y into both original equations and stand by. If both numbers are the same, your solution will go off of the wall of fame. You're done. You won. You believe and now you are relieved. No more stupid math.